What's up everyone, hope you're having a great day. I just wanted to do a short video on Boruto 2 Blue Vortex Chapter 3 and the possibility of Kashin Koji coming back to the story next chapter. I want to be objective here but at the same time, I think the idea of Kashin Koji coming back and being paired with Boruto isn't a good idea on the basis, no matter how good Kashin Koji is as a character, he'll always be a clone of Jiraiya. And another point I have to make is that we've already seen a Jiraiya and Naruto pairing already um, in the original series and Boruto and Kashin Koji teaming up would just be a cheap imitation of that. However, you know, to kind of play the devil's advocate, I understand that Boruto 2 Blue Vortex is still a new series and we still don't have all the facts yet. For all we know, you know, next chapter we might see Boruto, Kashin Koji and Sasuke, you know, all um, together and, you know, they form a team and that they're united in fighting the Otsutsuki. And so, at the same time, I get, you know, that makes sense. However, you know, the question I have to ask is, is it necessary, you know, to bring Kashi Koji, especially knowing that he has that dry comparison hanging over him. And to be honest with you guys, I always felt Kashi Koji as, as a character was something meant for Naruto the Hokage. You know, to kind of answer that question Naruto may have had as to how dry would react to Naruto becoming a Hokage. And dry, you know, seeing Naruto, you know, starting his own family and um, Jiraiya got, um, getting to see Naruto um, rescue Sasuke and them being best friends which is something that Jiraiya, you know, was unable to do when Orochimaru left the Hidden Leaf Village but pairing Boruto with Kaji Koji is something that even though on paper it makes sense but if you look, guys look at the story it just doesn't make sense with um, Boruto and Kaji Koji not really having, you know, much in common Besides both of them being fugitives and being an enemy to the shinobi world and Kashin Koji having some knowledge on karma. That's why I always felt Kashin Koji was something meant for Naruto, you know, the adult version, rather than Kashin Koji being uh, Jiraiya 2.0 and him and Boruto going on a journey and them trying to, you know, go on a world peace tour. Uh, however, you know, at the end of the day, I trust Kishimoto and honestly, I'm not trying to hate on the character. But at the same time, I want to be real here. And I hope that wherever this goes, um, that it turns out great. And like I said, hopefully, you know, I just want the best for the story. But I just want to say, you know, just how I feel right now. Just reacting to how the chapter played out. Kashin Koji coming back, you know, I'm always going to see Jiraiya. And my fear for his character is just a, a rehash of um, old themes and ideas that we've seen already. You know, with the theme of world peace and all the things that Jiraiya, you know, stood for. But like I said, I'd love to hear what you guys think on the issue. Are you guys for it? Are you guys against it? Please share your thoughts and ideas. Leave a like and subscribe and enjoy the rest of your day.